So I'm going to tell you a few names. And if you know the names, go ahead and give me a reassuring nod. But if not, that's OK, too. Eiffel 65, Fountains of Wayne, Rich Boy, Katy Perry. How many people have heard Katy Perry's song, Firework? Now, I'd venture to guess that after hearing that song, you yourself, too, thought you were a firework. But I'm here to tell you, you're not. Now, this wouldn't be a, a good TED Talk if I just said you're not a firework. See you later. Bye. <laughs> I'm here to tell you why I think that you're not and what you should be, using a story about myself. When I was growing up, I made all A's in preschool, middle school, elementary school. High school is a different story, but I made it to the academy, so I don't think I did that bad. But I remember a time when I was in the classroom, and everyone was nervous about giving their report cards to their parents, but I wasn't. Now, I never flaunted my grades, but I always took my report card, folded it up in my pocket, had a little happy dance to my parents to go show them. So I never failed until I got to West Point. Fast forward to my plebe year, my freshman year at the academy, and I was tasked with writing my first ever college research paper in Russian history. <laughs> what a task. So I went to the library. I spoke to amazing librarians. I got books just to say I got books. <laughs> but by the end of it, I found myself without a paper, without a thesis, and with barely even an outline. The day the paper was due. <laughs> so. Naturally, I went to the deepest, darkest parts of the history department, sat down in the hallway, and cried. It was one of my first emotional breakdowns here at West Point. While I was crying, an instructor walked by, and he looked down at me, and he said, are you OK? Do you need any help? And I said, no, sir, I'm fine. Go away, please. <laughs> Don't look at me. And he started to walk away. And I reached out, and I said, no, sir, I need help. I do need help. Thank you, please. So he proceeded to sit next to me. And that night, we created a thesis. I wrote a paper. And it wasn't that good. <laughs> but it, I wrote it. And if I ever see that instructor again, I definitely hide. I don't want to see him. It was an embarrassing experience, but he definitely helped me out. So. But I thought back to that moment. Why did it feel like I failed? Why did it feel like I couldn't move forward in this situation? With a little bit of self-reflection, I figured it out. Now, bear with me here. I'd like to, you to think back to your chemistry days. So if you can remember, there's something called a heating curve. And I'll show you a little, what it looks like. So on the y-axis, you have temperature. And on the x-axis, you have time. Heating curves depict the behavior of molecules when they're changing different phases. In this case, it's the most easiest to look at water. So we'll talk about water. Or H2O. Sorry, I'm left-handed. <laughs> so water is ice at a specific temperature, zero. And as the ice melts and the temperature rises, time goes by, you can see a steady increase in the graph. This is where life is awesome. This is my all A's in preschool, elementary school, and middle school. This is you getting that job promotion. This is you reaching that PR in the gym. But after a certain period, water reaches a temperature, it turns into liquid completely, and it stays the same temperature for a little bit. This is where life sucks. You don't feel like you're moving forward. You can't see the light at the end of the tunnel and you're stuck in the gym lifting weights and nothing's happening. This is where I was when I wrote that research paper. I didn't know how I was going to move forward. Now, the cool part about this is once water reaches this, this time and this temperature after a period of time, it goes right back up and turns into a gas. These points right here are what I like to call emotional catalysts. 
This is me entering West Point, thinking that I was going to be the biggest, brightest firework that I could be, except that I needed patience. The instructor who sat down next to me, he was the guidance that I needed. The time it took to write, write the paper, that was the patience. The time it took for me to reflect on these instances, that was where the patience came in as well. This moment right here represents you reaching that PR in the gym. You worked out for a long enough time for you to be able to lift that weight that, that was higher than you ever were be, be able to before. This is that promotion. This is that next research paper that I'm going to write. So to bring it back to when I talked about those names earlier, Eiffel 65 saying, I'm blue, abadi abada. Fountains of Wayne saying a, sang a little song about Stacy's mom. And Rich Boy, he rapped about throwing rims on a Cadillac. Those people were the fireworks. They were the exceptions to the curve. In your life, there will be failure. But you're right about here. Be patient, and you'll reach that next phase before you know it. Thank you for your time.